Hello George Grenville Academy, welcome to your weekly video. Um, so we've had some cards this week, haven't we? We've had six different cards that you've been, I've been mixing up for you, okay, and you've been working on each day. Um, key stage one, I've got some targets, and key stage two, I've got some targets. So what we're going to do today, is we're going to get warmed up first of all. We're then going to go through our six activities, okay, I'm going to get key stage two to do their activity whilst key stage one are doing theirs um, and then we're going to move on and we're going to show you six new activities and they're going to be the six activities you're working on next week okay so it gives you a little taster of what we're working on so a couple of things you're going to need today first of all a timer so i've got a timer on my ipad okay a little timer because key stage two i know a lot of yours are timed but key stage one quite a few of yours are how many reps we can do other thing we're definitely going to need today is a water. Make sure you fill your water bottle up ready for this session. Okay, so we're going to get warmed up to begin with. So we're just going to do some stretches. First stretch, I'm going to use my right leg. It's going to come forward. It's going to bend. My back leg is going to stay straight like so. And I'm going to lean on the front one and you should feel it at the bottom of your leg perfectly. For seven seconds, we're going to hold it for. And then all we're going to do is come back. And we're going to switch. Bend the front one, back one straight. You should feel it nice and tight on your back leg. Five, six, seven. Fantastic. We're then going to switch it. So front leg's going to be straight, back leg's going to be bent, and we're going to lean on that bent leg again. You should feel it in your front leg this time. Okay? I'm going to hold it for seven seconds. Five, six, seven. And we're going to switch. Front leg straight, back leg bent, and we lean on that back leg for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fantastic. This time, rather than going straight forward, we're going to come to the side and we're going to bend. And you should feel this up in your groin area, the top of your leg on the inside. Okay, and I'm going to lean on that bent one again. This leg is straight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to do the same again, but we're going to switch the sides. So again, you should feel it up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fantastic. This time I'm going to sit down on the floor. I'm going to tuck one leg in. I'm going to have one leg straight and I'm going to try and reach that straight one. Again, I should be feeling this in my leg. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And switch. So tuck this leg in, have this leg straight and I'm reaching out to it. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Fantastic. Moving on again. I'm going to tuck both legs in now. I'm going to hold my feet and I'm going to pull them in. I should feel that again on my groin area. Okay? And we're going to hold it for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fantastic. We're going to stand up now. We're going to move up to our hips. So we're going to do hip rotations. Ready? We go round, going one way, round, holding on to our hips, keeping our feet planted. And then once we've done that, we're going to go the other way. Whoa, keeping our feet planted still, holding on to our hips. Fantastic. This is excellent. Back the other way. And switch one more time. Perfect. Okay, we're now going to go to our arms. I'm going to bring one across. Up. Okay, so I'm pulling it in now. And I'm going to hold for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to switch across, pulling it towards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fantastic. We're going to shake our arms. And now we're going to try and reach down our back. We're going to put our hand on top of our elbow, like so, and we're going to push it down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and switch the arm. So go down my back again, and try and pull it down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fantastic. Okay, we're now going to go all the way back down to our feet and we're just going to put the heel of our foot on the floor. Okay, also the opposite. Okay, and we're going to just do little ankle rolls. 
So my heels off the floor, sorry. Okay, little ankle roll, just roll my ankle around. And then the other way around, switch the way you're going. And then switch your feet. So my toes touch the floor, my heel is up in the air. And I'm just pushing into the ground and twisting my ankle. And the other way. Now it's really important to stretch our muscles. Who knows why? Have a think why. Okay, the reason why is we want to make sure the blood's pumping around our body before we exercise, okay? That means we're not going to hurt any of our muscles when we're exercising. Important to do it before we exercise and after, okay? If there's any other stretches that you need to do, because I know some of you have specific stretches because you've already got some bad muscles from sports, please pause the video now and get going with them, okay? One I would like you to do, okay, one more, is we're just going to bring it back. And this is going to do the top of our leg. Five, six, seven, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the reason I've done that one last is because that's one muscle that Mr. Goodwin really has to work. Okay, so we're going to get started. Guys, right, so we're going to move on. We're going to get onto our exercises now. This is actually the second time Mr. Goodwin recorded this video as his laptop stop working and the video stopped working so i want you to outwork me this time as my legs are already a bit tired we're going to start off with our ski sliders okay so it's going to be 45 seconds for key stage two 40 seconds for key stage one every activity pretty much you know that key stage two you normally have to do it three times i'm just going to show you once though ready set and off you go i haven't got too much space so i'm just going to show you the way I can do it in my space, but you know how you can do it if you have more space. Okay, but we're just going from side to side, getting into that position. Okay, if you don't have much space in your house, this is a perfect example of how you can do some of the exercises. Okay, once we've done our six exercises that we're working on this week, I'll show you six exercises that we're going to be working on next week. Okay, 10 seconds, key stage one, 15, key stage two. And stop there, key stage one, key stage two, five more seconds, four, three, two, one, and relax. Have a little sip of your drink. We're going to go to the shoulder taps. Key stage one, you're going to do 15, lay down. Key stage two, you're going to do 30. I will count, try and keep in time with me. Ready, set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's key stage one, you're done. Key stage two, let's keep going. Sixty, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Fantastic, good job, get your drink. Moving on to our V sit now. Key stage one, you're gonna do 20 seconds. Key stage two, you're gonna do 40. Okay, ready, set, leaning back, legs straight, arms out if you can. This is a perfect technique. Okay, the lower your legs are, the more you should feel it in your abs. Okay, and we'll try and keep a nice straight V. We'll try and hold it, just so I can see my timer, I can spread the legs a little bit. You're gonna keep yours together, okay. Two, one, key stage one, you can relax. Key stage two, if you can, keep on going. If you need a five second break, have one, and then get your legs back up and your arms out. 10 seconds to go, key stage two, keep up the hard work. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Fantastic. Well done. Time is the ground to sky okay key stage one you're gonna go for 30 seconds key stage two you're gonna go for one minute ready and off we go now if you want to make it harder as you come up you can jump okay that's one way to make it a little bit harder on your legs if you want to keep it like this feel free 10 seconds to go key stage one Five, four, 
three, two, one, and relax, key stage one, key stage two, keep going for another 30 seconds. For the last 10 seconds, we're all gonna do the jumps, okay? Ready, set, and last 10 seconds, let's get jumping. Fantastic, well done. Right then, we're on to our side shuffles. Key stage one, you're meant to do three sets of 10. We're gonna do for 30 seconds. Key stage two, you're gonna do for a minute. Okay, knees bent and side shuffles, off we go. Well done, now again, this is another one I don't have too much space for. Okay, so if you don't have much space in your house or your apartment, Okay, you know how, how much of pace I've got, it's not that much. Okay, if you've got more space, make this longer. That'll make it a lot harder. Five seconds, key stage one, three, two, one, and stop there, key stage one. Key stage two, keep going for another 30 seconds. Ten, nine, keep going. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax there. Well done. Our final video for today's six exercises is our high knees. Key stage one, you're gonna do thirty seconds. Key stage two, you're gonna do a minute. Off we go. Getting our knees nice and high. And as I am, you can twist if you want. So we're going forward, to the side, and then to the other side. This gives you a little bit more to focus on, so it's not too boring. Because this one can be a bit repetitive. Key stage one, stop there. Key stage two, keep going. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done, that is your six exercises for this week. I'm now gonna show you six exercises for next week, okay? Right, so for our six exercises for the week coming next week, okay, we're going to all do 30 seconds of them, okay, just give ourselves a little taster. Some of them you've probably done before or seen in our old videos, okay, which would be fantastic. We're going to start off with the star jump, okay, so 30 seconds of the star jump, ready, set, go, so out, in, out, in. To make it harder, we can do tuck star jumps. It's up to you which one you'd want to do. I would recommend key stage one, definitely do these ones. If you want to do the hard ones, feel free. Key stage two, I really want you to push yourself and try to tuck one, okay? Come nice and low and then explode out, okay? So that's your 30 seconds of our star jumps. Our second exercise are the standing mountain climbers. So we're gonna get going. All I'm doing is I'm getting my knees up, okay? And I'm using my arms this time. So kind of like the high knees from last week, but we're using our arms as well, okay? You can up your speed if you want to make it hard, okay? Or we can just go at a nice pace. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Get a little drink, and we're moving on to our next exercise. Exercise number three is the lunge, okay? I'll show you on a side angle so you can see. Okay, we'll get that time started now. Forward, my back leg comes down and it bends. The front leg, I wanna make sure my knee goes in front of my foot. So not like this, but like that. Okay, switch over. Forward, fantastic. Forward. That knee's getting in front, that leg's bending down. Okay, I'm gonna keep on going, keep on going. Five, four, three, 
two, one, and relax. Fantastic, get your drink. Exercise number four. Now this is the tough one. Last week the tough one was the V-sit. This week the tough one is the plank. So we're gonna lay down, we're gonna make sure our body's flat. Okay, and we're gonna try and hold it, engaging our core again. Ready, set, and go. So we're looking for a flat body like I have right now, not like this. You'll find when you start to struggle, you'll naturally come up. You have to bring yourself back down, really tense your core, okay? That's your abs. You want to really tense them. And you're going to try and hold it for as long as possible. It's quite hard to talk when you're doing this one. Okay, keep it going. Well done. Another 10 seconds will go. I think that's probably longer than 30 seconds, but we'll keep it going. Don't let yourself go down either. Try and keep it nice and straight. And relax. Fantastic. Well done. Exercise number five is a bit easier than the last one, definitely. We're heel flicking, so we're flicking our feet backwards. We're going to try and do a fast pace. Ready, set, go. Again with this one, I can turn just to entertain myself a little bit more. But really, I'm just looking for them feet to go backwards. I like to have my hands behind, so I have something to flick onto. fantastic get yourself a drink final video for this next week's sorry is called prison walks i put a blanket on the floor because this one you have to go on your knees if you have wooden floor it's quite tough on your knees okay all you simply do is you go down down up up down down up up keeping our legs bent when we're coming up so we're going to keep going and we're going to try and speed it up you really feel the burn on your legs in this one. Okay, down, down, up, up. Like so. Keep them legs bent. Okay, that's our six exercises for next week. You've done a fantastic job, so well done again. Okay, we're going to do a little cool down now, which will be dynamic stretches. So rather than the stretches still, we're moving. Right then, so we've warmed our body up at the beginning of the session. Now we're going to cool our body down, okay? If you're at key stage two and you still have two more sets to go and you want to do them, pause the video, okay? And then we'll go on to that, this cool down, okay? If you're going to do sets later, do your cool down now. So, first one we're going to do is going to be opening the gates. So you can move around your area, open up your leg by lifting it and then bringing it out. Okay, so I'm moving around my area every three seconds. I'm just gonna open my gate up, okay? And I'm doing both legs. This is gonna really stretch our groin area, okay? Once you've opened your gate up, okay, do that for about 30 seconds to a minute. You're gonna close your gate, okay? So I'm moving around and I'm just closing my gate up. Okay, again, about 30 seconds to a minute on this one. Okay, so we're just moving that groin. Fantastic. Now, why do we do a cool down? We do a cool down, okay, just to make sure that our muscles, okay, aren't really active. We're calming them back down. Once we have opened the gates, we're now just going to kick through. Okay, I'm going to do down both legs again. Keep your legs straight as you kick. Why do we cool down? That is a question you may be asking. Okay, maybe that's a little bit of homework that you can take over the weekend, give it to Google, and find out why we have to warm up and why we have to cool down. Okay, once we've done that, we can just shake it off a little bit. Okay, well done. Next one. We're gonna be, we're just gonna walk, bring our knee to our chest, okay? Bring our knee to our chest, so I'm pulling it in to my chest each time. 
Now, some of you have been asking, especially when I'm in the school, some of you have been asking, Mr. Goodman, why do my muscles ache afterwards? Okay? That's something called DOMS. Now, the way that works, keep going with your stretch, maybe do some other ones as you're going and I'm talking to you. The way that works is when we're working our muscles, they tear. So when you see men with really, or women with really big biceps, okay, they lift weights and their muscle tears. Now, when it regrows, it regrows stronger, okay? And when it's torn, that's when it's going to hurt you. All of your muscles will do it, your legs do it, your abs, your arms, your shoulders, okay? Any, if you have a muscle, it can tear if you're working it hard. It's not a worry, do not worry about that. All that means is it's gonna grow back and it's gonna grow back stronger. And that's how you get bigger muscles, okay? Is your muscle regrows, but it regrows stronger. So do not worry if your muscles are hurting for a day or two, but that's why warming up and cooling down is really, really important, okay? It's important for our regrowth. Another thing that's really important, is our water and the final thing and it's one of the most important actually two things one is our diet so the food we're putting in our body and the other one is what I've got just here which is my bed sleep okay sleep is so so important to our recovery so if you have muscles that ache after your fitness sessions after any sports you do okay don't worry about it watch this video I've explained what that is it's not something to worry about Drink your water, get your sleep, stretch properly. Okay? You've got your six videos for next week now, so re-watch them next week when you're practicing them. That's a great way to see the technique. Have a lovely weekend. Goodbye.